I came to write The Dove Keepers because of a trip that I made to Israel. I went to Masada, the ancient fortress, where 900 Jews committed suicide rather than submit to Roman rule and enslavement. And I went really as a tourist, and I had a much different experience than I thought I would have. I really felt the past all around me, and I felt there were so many voices that had been silenced. And I've really felt those voices come to me, and that's how the book began. I researched the book in many ways over a period of about five years. I did a lot of reading. I used as my main text the work by Josephus, who's really the only historian of the time who really is, it has the only person who has the story to tell about what happened during the Roman occupation of Jerusalem. When I first began to read um, Josephus's work, I was very surprised because the account of Masada was not the account that I had always heard. And I had no idea that there had been survivors. And in Josephus's account, he says that two women and five children survived. And that really sparked my imagination. I wanted to tell the story of those survivors. I chose to write about Masada because the story came to me. I don't really feel that I chose to write the story. I felt that when I visited Masada, the story came to me and that I really didn't have any choice but to tell the story. It was a story that hadn't been told before because there are so few women in ancient history. There's Cleopatra, but for common women, there are very few women. And in fact, there are only 188 women mentioned by name in the Bible. And so to discover what it would be like to be a woman living in ancient time was very difficult. And I wanted to find out what domestic life was like, what love life was like, what their spiritual life was like. And so it was a real challenge for me to find this out. I think one of the things that really interested me was that I felt that the passions of the four women who tell the story are the same as the passions of women today all over the world. And that for me, they feel extremely modern in their desires and their beliefs and the way in which they were willing to do anything to save their children.